like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 80 says, which of the following graphs in the xy plane represent y as a function of x? Okay, so if y is a function of x, we need to know what that means. Um, and in order for y to be a function of x, each x value can only correspond to one y value. And so what I mean by that is, like if you look at your x-axis, um, like let's just look at a for a minute, and I look at where x equals 3, and then I compare that to where the graph is. Okay, so when x is 3, the y value of the graph is right here, right? There's just one point um, uh, that indicates the output of this function. Right, now this is going to be different than like say letter C. Like if I look at where X is 1, not only do I have a point here, but I also have a point down here. And so in this case, like for this one just quick look, we can already eliminate C because we found an X value that corresponds to two Y values. And for Y to be a function of X, it can only correspond to 1. So what we're going to use when we have um, graphs that we're trying to decide, you know, is y a function of x, is we're going to use something called the vertical line test. Okay, and basically this is a test to see if y is a function of x, and the way it works is if you can draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph, and it crosses the graph more than once, then y is not a function of x. Okay, so like looking at c again, I can draw a vertical line right here, right? And in fact, there's lots of places where I could draw a vertical line on this graph where I'm intersecting the graph twice, so I know this is not gonna be the right answer. Okay, same thing goes for b, right? I can draw a vertical line here, um, and that, you know, then I'm not going to have, um, this is not going to be a function. Now for A, um, there's nowhere here where, you know, anywhere I draw this vertical line, it's always just going to hit the graph once, right? There's no overlapping points here. So A is definitely going to be an answer, and this does indicate all such graphs, so there may be more than one right answer. Now, D is a little tricky because it kind of looks like, hey, if I draw a vertical line right here, look, I'm hitting this more than once. But we have to understand the difference between a closed circle, which is indicated in black, and an open circle, which is indicated in white. So whenever you draw an open circle versus a closed circle, open circles are used to indicate that the graph goes like up until that point, but does not actually include that point. So in other words, like an open circle is undefined for a graph. There's no value here. So if I were to draw a vertical line here, or if I were to ask the question, say, um, when x is 2, what is the y value? You would report back here only the, x, or only the, um, the closed circle here, which is at 3. So this actually does pass the vertical line test here. And we can see no matter where we draw this vertical line, we're going to be safe, right? Each x value only corresponds to exactly one y value. Um, and in between these points, you know, there, there's, there's not really any controversy here. There's, it's just going to hit the graph once. Really the only tricky part here is when we draw this line through both the closed and open dots, you have to know that those open dots don't count as part of the graph. So anyway, yeah, D is going to be an answer to here too. So yeah, our, our graphs um, that show y as a function of x are going to be a and d. So that's it for number 80. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.